Well, this was our first day for at least for me with Team Iskrain, and it was a very promising day. Um, I didn't know the guys. I knew them from last year, and but I haven't never sailed with them, so it was all uh, it was an eye opener for me, and uh, actually quite positive. We didn't start too well; it was a bit rusty, but uh, sailed really well towards the end. Gained a nice few places uh, all the way uh, at the finish, so yeah, a positive day. I've sailed the Tour de France a couple of times. Uh, once with the Dutch guys on Terre Delft, and then before when they were still in the Mums. So this is my fourth time, if I believe well. And uh, yeah, it's great to be back. Uh, it's one of the best sailing events there is. You get so much worth for your money. It's all about sailing. It's 30 days, day and night. Um, it can't get much better than that. It's really bang for the buck. Uh, we're among the best amateur teams, so it would be nice to be on the podium of the amateurs. And if you could mix it up with the professionals every now and then, that would be a great bonus. Well, there's some big names in uh, international and French sailing. There's Franck Amas with Groupe Amas, who obviously is very known in France. Also, uh, Thomas Coville on Sodebo, and many other guys. It's, it's just a very strong fleet. It's a nice mix of nationalities. And it's just a fun group of people. I've seen them the first day and they just, they're in for the sailing, but also for the fun. So it's just a nice mix of expectations and people. It's a, it's a good group. Well, we, uh, with a big event like that, you gotta sail a little bit conservative in the beginning. You don't want to take any big risk. You just want to stay with the people, see how fast other people are, just play the game. Don't go for the big wins. So you also avoid the big losses. It's a long event, it's a marathon, so we, uh, we don't want to be firing every, every single shot in the first day.